open dialogue. Firstly, we need to bring down the fees. I think fees. it's unfair for you to just increase the fees every year without giving us a reason as to why. We believe that minority groups also have a right to be taught in our own language like Afrikaans. But it's also about language and the ways in which that is connected to the institutional culture. Everything is shut down. We all have the right to study in our own language. To hear our grievances. There can be no institutional autonomy to pursue racism whatsoever. That's unconstitutional. Se re fitile go dilimo tse 40 tse fitileng. Ba tsha ba rona ba ile ba kopana ba matcha ba lwana ntwa e golo. Ba lwanela dithuto tsa bona ba lwanela le sechaba sa bona. Jwa le he ba tsha ba ka jeno ba leboga matla ao. Empa mathata ha wa fele. Ke la amhela ka o fela mo mzantsi go Talk SA. Le bitsola ka ke gaogelo wa ha monama. Ka jendulena re shebisisa di student activists tsa di university tsa mona South Africa. Ka gore ba shebane le ntwa e golo. Ebe ka khomo mo geta letsa tsilena la youth day ka o shebisisa di nako tsela tsa di 1976 letsa hona jena ebe ge ba tlisisa gore no ho le jwang ho ba ngwana skolo ka di nako tsa di 1970s le di 80s ge qatela ka o sheba generation ya ka jeno e ba ibitsang ka gore ke di born free dula fela hona mo o se ka wa tsamaya because taba ke yo ka jeno lena ko talk sa re bua le professor nefta gordon o tla jwetsa ka history ya student activism mona south africa Eberelo buwali o pa moloto ye le o mongwe di student na ba leng teng ka 1976 ha re pata mono ebe re sheba dinako tseletsa 1976 re shebe le dinako tsa hona tshe ka u buwali di student activist ho re ba re jwetsa ka mathata a ba kopanang le ona hona tshe na le hore dintho di ka lokana ha fela ba holo le bana ba ka jeno ba ka kopana ba tshorana ka matsoho ho re ba age bo ka moso bo bo ka bang betere Philosophy poet ya Spanish e bambitsa ka gore ke George Santanya o la bua ka 1905 r Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it Jwale re tlokala ka ho ya so wethu re lo ithuta hore ho le wa etsala nka le tsatsi la June 16 1976 le hore le tsatsi le le tshogoreng ko di student activist tsa nako eo Ha se mo re ba ga yeso re mona fela re fitlile e bile re tsabile ke na le professor Nifta Godina Moko Hector Peterson Memorial yena o tla re tlalosa tsa ka ditaba tsa student activism ka dinako tsa apartheid ka 1976 Good day sir how are you I'm well thank you and thank you for the opportunity It's a pleasure yeah. sir The tragic events of June 16 are deeply etched into South African psyche Could you please explain to us what were the events building up to this day and how it has affected the bigger picture regarding student activism of apartheid I think that it's important to distinguish between two processes. The first is what were the immediate causes of the uprising and what were the broader contextual issues. Um, and the broader contextual issues uh, need to be located in, I think, two things. One is Bantu education, which was implemented in the 1950s. And broadly speaking, the aim of Bantu education was to keep black people and African people in particular in uh, minor positions to prepare them for labor and to undermine the aspirations to improve themselves and uh, in the 1960s the apartheid government started spending less money on urban townships transferring money to the development of the bantu sons what that meant was that conditions in the townships began to deteriorate as the african urban population began to settle families expanded and the small houses that you see across the weto became too small um and so that living conditions became worse over time as well as the fact that uh in the 1950s and 1960s there were, there were high levels of employment but from the late 1960s and particularly the early 1970s the south african economy started experiencing crisis which means that more people became unemployed so what one had broadly speaking is that by the early 1970s uh there were a number of socio economic problems that began to affect black people in particular in general and african people in particular ba ga yes re mona fela re fitlile e bile re thabile re mona ko june 16 1976 memorial acre ke na le ntate moloto jo le ntate moloto ke mong wa batho ne ba le nteng na le student activist ka le tsatsi lona leo la 1976 jo la re batla utlwa ka yena go wile wa etsala ka se go wa otwe we want to hear it from the horse's mouth 
le kae papa reteng le kae reteng papa ne re kopa hore jotse ka experience how ya letsatsi le o le bohlokola 1976 eh peleng ka bua ka selang sa etsa la ka 1976 na lane na e batla re se morao re la tele tsetse bo e understand hore ho le ha etsa la eng joang ka nako e fe pela 1976 muso wa nako eno o le wa introduce Africans as a means of communication. Nereza Africans as a language, but Nereza it as a means of communication. Nebai introduce more the high school. Empa hazange eloke because matishara anashole aurutabana history, arithmetic kasibur. Yaba ifella moye. Rana hana rontuna ya Africans as a means of communication ifedile. Ya ba ba ikhutli sa ka 1976 ha le mo seqala ba itlisa mo di lower primary schools. Di lower primary schools le bona ba ile ba strike ba boycotta di classi against this African as a medium of communication. Ho ba uno se bona lo ho ro ka tsa history ka Africans o ka tsa arithmetic ka Africans. Rona ka nako e ya 76 ne re tlo ya winter school re tukisetsa Uh, final year exam star not a metric. Ritsuile lo seng, nerusa na hana hori mohanto hotla bale matata, we just excited first time after a long period of time, rile bana baskolor lukuluile, rita mahole monati, monati leng, ribina senzeni na senzeni na. Ritsuile mo morisi, rita mahyualo, nse renka tedi indikolo, rabara ufitla kako vila gazi street. Haru leka Velagari Street, hutu ile omu wa maponesa tuere laut heila. Ita habu wa mara, kawaruba nane bali banga atababi ina azangu hutuwa hale luhoro nari. Ita hasi ntere rishebile ya ba uloko lancha. Ncha ita etla e bola bana, bana ba penika baba leha. Baba shimane banka majwe, and then bae watla ka majwe, and then the dog died. Hutu wa mo, Ay, apa so senye ile? Ibi laba tu nyan na negena na hori kidi 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 crackers. Kor negese show lor ba yuza live ammunition until emo wabashimana na emo pelaka ba mo tu nyan lezo. Kona more le rakala ra realize or these people ba tu nyan mos. Hare re kibo le so tu nzo hectare pita seni. Mara ita ba kata o tu nyan joalo. Rabale ya rakena matu. Mara ya ba le rona re retaliate re tsala re tshesa di office tse nne ho beuwe di record tsa administration ene hatelletse batho ba batho ka nakwe o re o tla di koloetsa maponesa ro tla di koloetsa di company tse ne re tshepile hore ke tsona tse thusang gore mente hore bene le challenge re hatelle ba bang ba kene ka mo railway station ba tinta di train tse ne di feta di feta mo Students taking um, the narrative, reporting it for themselves. Um, media has not been our friends during these protests. So you're seeing a youth who are saying, not only are we asking for something, but we want to be a part of the solution. Chakala Vets University mo ho qadileng movement ya fees must fall. Ke lo bua le baguti ba koteng hore ba rejwetse go bona ba ikutlwa jwang ka movement ena ba iqadileng. Ha se mo ho ba ga yo so re mona fela re fitlile e bile re tsabile. Ke mona le fesi ya Hassan, yeli SRC Secretary General ya mona Vets University. Jola hena o tla go jwetsa ka movement ya fees must fall. Hi, Fasia. How are you? I'm very well, thanks to you. I'm good, thanks. Please tell us about yourself, your background, where you're from, what you're studying here, and what are your future plans? Well, I'm studying my postgrad law degree now at Pitts University. So next year will actually be my final year, and then um, I'm hoping to do my articles. But ultimately, I want to find myself in litigation, uh, maybe be an advocate. Uh, but 
In terms of my background, I and I'll be very honest, um, my parents don't come from a privileged background. Mm. Uh, but they worked very hard and they were lucky enough at the time during apartheid to get permission to come to university. Um, and so they were the first graduates and they have really built a life for myself and my brother, something where we've been able to go to good schools and, you know, we've, we've, we've had opportunities, my brother and I, truthfully, I must be honest. May you also please tell us about the events that led to the Fees Must Fall movement. What was the straw that broke the camel's back? Well, I think everyone knows that um, on the 14th of October, 2015, that's when we chose to shut down the gates of its university. And when we made that decision, there, were, there was a lot of thinking behind it, a lot of planning. Um, it was a very metaphoric decision to say that if we shut down the gates, we're going to make everyone else understand what this proposed fee increment is going to do to poor black students. Essentially, that the doors of higher learning will be closed. And that's what led to the thinking behind, you know, shutting down the gates. But really, I think what broke the, the camel's back kind of a thing um, is not just the proposed fee increment. I mean, every year fees have been going up. It wasn't just that. For us at WITS in particular, it was that we had been fighting this battle of the fee increment for many, many months at various university committees, at various levels. And it got down to a point where the SRC presidents, both Shara Kala and Nombendule Mkachwa, they were both in a council meeting. And they kept on arguing and we had financial modeling, we did our research, we were very ready for that argument about why we didn't think 10.5 was an appropriate number. We were arguing for a much smaller, much lower number. And what ended up happening is that council was like, okay, well, we disagree, let's go to a vote. Now, given the makeup of the council, which is basically the highest decision-making body at the university, we only have two student representatives. Now, two student representatives out of 20 to 30 people, of course we were going to be outvoted. And for us, it brought home the fact that student voices are not being taken seriously. They're not being heard. And it's not a situation of us being rowdy or difficult. It's us wanting an education that's affordable. Because the fact of the matter is that the socioeconomic landscape of the country has not allowed people every opportunity that they should have been. Mm. I mean, if you look at the basic education system, mm. not everyone grew up with the opportunities I did. Mm. Most didn't. I'd say the majority of this country hasn't. And so for them to even walk into a university, number one, that, that's an achievement. Mm. But then to be met with all these financial barriers, all these academic barriers, the language policy, all of these greater issues that we're making a big deal about, only exacerbates the problem, only makes it so much worse. So that, for us, was the breaking point to say, well, we're done now. We're not going to play nice. Um, we're adults in many ways. Mm. So we shut down the gates and, and I think we brought back power to students. Mm. And we showed not just ourselves, but the country, that what we're fighting for is so genuine and so true. Mm. And, and that's really how we ended up with the zero percent, you know, because we stay true to it. Jala Reloko Panali Student Representative Council Yako UCT. Relo Uta Hureki Eng Sailing Bushoka Hubona, Sebas Batlang Husebona se transforma hu higher education system yaka chain. Le hu rebaru jueta kama tata aba fitang huo na kajin. Hasimo heba hayos, rmona fella, rfitile ibile, ritabile. Kidusili SRC team yamona UCT. But or Josaka strike said in Sadi at Sahala, le horribona by Kukla Shankat's own. Guys, may you please introduce yourselves and tell us what role you play within the SRC team. Dumelango Ke Linalaga Gitsehu Fato Hutu, and I am the residence chair of the UCT SRC. Uh, my name is Nabil Ali, I'm the chair of undergraduate academics. Noeni Kamalam Munukolo, I'm the secretary general of the SRC. Dumelanga Nantupula Masipa, I am the vice president of internal affairs of the UCT SRC. So the SRC team does represent the students and the university, right? So now with the strikes that have been happening over the time, especially the one that's happening right now with the Shackville, we would like to know what is the SRC team doing? How are they involved in helping the students that are struggling with accommodation right now? So what has happened at UCT is that every year, um, management over allocates um, residences or they give up, they give out more offers then like there are actually enough spaces and this is because like a lot of students don't return or they don't come to UCT even though they've applied to and they got they've got res so for this year um, what happened is that 
students were, were in residence from their deferred exam period because all of the examination, like exam, students could elect to postpone their exams because of fees must fall and just the psychological state they were under, etc. So the, what happened is that students were financially excluded, they were academically excluded when, when the university had said that no one would get financially excluded if they were academically eligible. Like Sejo said, is that you know we can't deal with the underlying issues. Take take the housing crisis for example. Is you have the university over allocating residents by by forty percent, and our job is then to find housing for those students who haven't been given a home. But the problem, the root issue, is the university has given promises to students and not been able to deliver those promises, and we clean up the mess. Mm -hmm. So the post boy keys of the universities is is the term I use a lot because. We can't solve the issues, and that, that's a fair critique that I, I accept that people give the SOC because we don't deal with that. We, we deal with the results of problems, is what it seems like very much. And, and that's got part to do with why people call us ineffective, because that's a reality that we face. Um, uh, Tseho alluded to uh, financial and academic exclusions, and the underlying issues of that are not being dealt with. Yeah. And instead we get students saying, I've been academically excluded, I've been financially excluded, and then mm -hmm. we look on one by one cases. Which, like, as I'm sure we all agree, that that's, a, that's an impractical way to help people. Mm -hmm. um, just on virtue of time and effort, yeah. I also, I'm going to jump in and say, okay. beyond listening, I think it's a matter of preparation. And it just shows how this crisis exposed a system that is so fundamentally flawed. And that beyond listening to the fact that students don't have housing, beyond listening to the fact that you know, this deferral period, that was a result of Fees Must Fall, that was a result of Rose Must mm. Fall, um, was not prepared for. And why is it that we have a system that allows for, for us to kind of plan for students to fail? Mm. So I think beyond it being about this specific period, um, the importance of what is happening right now is exposing a fundamentally flawed system that we are operating under mm. and functioning for, I guess. Mm. For me, um, in that sense, I would say if you look at the root cause of it, it didn't just spring up from nowhere where students were saying, you know, let's decide to burn paintings or let's burn a jammy bus. Mm. It comes from the root of the fact that the university failed to adequately deal with all of these issues. Mm. And all of that's happening, that's uprooting, is as a result of that. Recourse to violence is often a last resort taken by desperate and powerless people. Stellenbosch University. Roloko Panali Ijoma Opara, spokesperson sa Open Stellenbosch, Yaling Student Movement Senaling Staff Hub. Basabiri sana ka utuksa di oppressive remnants sa apartheid huri di fele ka haras kolo sa inurin ki sama Afrika. Joleka ane ki buile ba khaye suhore retotla moko Stellenbosch University. Ki duzi li Chowdi li Ijoma, ki beng ba Open Stellenbosch Student Movement. Bato rithalu sa saka yona lo ruho baning ba yeza movement ena. So guys, please tell us about yourselves. Um, my name is Ijoma, Ijoma Opara. I'm doing my honours in BA International Studies and I also did my undergraduate here as well in BA International Studies. Uh, my name is Jodie um, Williams. Um, I'm doing my honours in Political Science. May you please explain to us and elaborate in detail what the Open Stellenbosch student movement is about, what is the vision and the mission? We define ourselves as being an intersectional social justice movement that focuses on um, the ideas of access and exclusion. So as you know, um, we focus on the language policy, which we see to be problematic, but also the institutional culture of the university, which excludes a lot of South African students from you know, gaining access to education if you guys were involved in the documentary called Leicester, if so, how were you involved? Okay, so I was um, involved in the Leicester documentary. Um, the point of the documentary was just to get 
our stories across. Um, we had been engaging with numerous actors within the university, as well as within, um, you know, in, in the Western Cape, for example, um, about certain issues that we have had on our campus with the language policy. And what we found was people, they weren't really listening to us. We had organized several marches, protests, pickets, you name it, and, and people just weren't taking us seriously. Um, and then the, the initial idea behind the documentary was to uh, document these experiences, get them out there, have people listen to, to what we are going through on our campus. Um, the exclusion that we experience here because of the language policy, um, the exclusion that we experience here because of the racist, uh, patriarchal, homophobic, um, sexist uh, institutional culture that prevails on this campus. And, and one of the most, uh, I think, saddening responses that we got was a lot of those experiences that we put into the documentary was very quickly invalidated by our, our white peers on campus, by members of management, uh, by, by people on social media as well. People quickly invalidating those experiences, um, those lived experiences of being a black person in this deeply racist uh, uh, space. And, 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 and filming and capturing those experiences in itself was a violent, a violent process of having to regurgitate these, these, these violent experiences that we experience as minorities on our campus. Another thing about the media is that it has portrayed us to be um, ungrateful students and, and ungrateful of this opportunity to come and study and to be at an institution of high learning. Um, and, and, and what the media often forgets and, and the narrative that it often negates is that that this, this fight that we are fighting is not about us, the, the privileged 3% who, who made it to university, that this fight is about those who could not even get here because of multiple barriers and constraints, such as financial constraints, um, and I could name plenty. It's about tearing down these barriers that prevent a large majority of youth, more often than not black youth, from even getting to university. And that's something that the media has forgotten and, and, and instead has portrayed us as ungrateful. And lastly, where would you like to see Stellan Bosch in, let's say maybe 10 years or 20 years? What are the changes that you would love to see here? For me, I'd like to see a truly decolonized African university. Firstly, these barriers that exist that prevent people from coming here are stripped down and that this is a public institution for the public and that this institution becomes deprivatized, that we don't have to pay exorbitant fees to, to get an education. We, we keep advocating for transformation and inclusion, but to be honest with the history of this town and the context, not to sound like a pessimist, but it's going to take a lot of work to see the things that we want to see in terms of more black people within the spaces, more black academics employed by the university. Um, you know, the patriarchal cultures that exist within the re various residences, those need to fall. Um, and so all these different, you know, oppressions that exist within the space may take a lot longer than we, than it will take for us being here. But for me, I think the, the important thing is that it continues, that, you know, Open Stellenbosch was a platform for a lot of people that had been in this space before but had never been able to voice their opinions about what was wrong with the place. So I just hope that from now on, it's a starting point um, in the long term, you know, within the next 10 to 20 years that, you know, change can actually happen for those that, you know, that must enter into these spaces because this is a South African university. Generations <laughs> Facebook